Amen. For a long time, I had a kind of a Hollywood picture of Jesus, you know, growing up. I thought he was like a refugee from the 60s with the love beads and long hair and stuff, you know. Wandered around in a daze, you know. Talked about peace and all that stuff. I found out when I read my Bible that he's a whole lot more than that. He's a king. We were, I was telling, I was explaining this to some friends of mine recently, and I got into how much Jesus meant to me and how he changed my life and how I really wanted this friend to understand that he could be forgiven in Christ, no happiness. And I really thought I was making some headway. And I, after about 20 minutes of pouring my heart out, I stopped and waited for a response, and he thought for a minute, and he looked at me and he said, well, that's fine for you, man, but, uh, like, I'm into tennis, you know? You see, the, there's a fundamental problem there. There's several fundamental problems there. First of all, a good overhead smash won't get you into heaven, you know? The other thing, I think this person thought I was talking about joining a religion, something like being mem a member of a country club, you see, to enrich your life, an aerobics class, as it were. But you see, I was trying to explain that what I had in Jesus was a relationship with someone. Uh, yes, that's right. And that Jesus had said, that this relationship would be put in front of every man, and every man would make a decision. And Paul said very clearly that there would be a day when every knee will bow and acknowledge the fact that, the fact that he truly is the king. And so the real situation that we have, it's not a question of if, you want a relationship with Jesus? It's not a question of if you intend to bow your knee and acknowledge that he's the king. It's a question of when you want to do it. And we have bowed our knees and our hearts already and acknowledged him, Lord. Yet there are some who in their stubborn wills will wait until that day when they're forced to bow. Well, anyway, I don't want to take up all your time. I just want to tell you that we're going to play a matter of time.